All right, let's recap. So far, I had created a custom audience, which are the people from my mailing list, and I've added this on Facebook's audiences. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do here right now is we're gonna create what we call a look alike audience. And what this means again is that right now, all this while we've been using a detailed interest uh, for our targeting. That's all the very standard keywords that we've been putting into the ads manager all this while. Okay, now we can up the game by having Facebook now search through its network of other people that are similar to the customers or the subscribers that you have just uploaded here. I mean, isn't it just amazing? So for example, if you are running an e-commerce business and you're selling uh, cosmetics, all right, uh, or, or women beauty products, for example, okay, and you've already got more than a thousand people like that, and you add all this uh, database to Facebook, and what Facebook does is that it'll run through this existing mailing list that you have here and try to look for people like that. Isn't that just wonderful? So this is how you can actually expand and scale your business uh, to the next level when you start making some money and you get some profits and of course you build your list along the way. So again, remember that Facebook is just a third party platform. It's amazing and all that, but in the end you want to have more control. And that's why I want you to build your own list and you have your own medium to control as well. Okay. So I talk a lot more about that in my email marketing training program, but um, that's going to be something else. Okay, so let's get going with this one. If you remember this, in fact, I had created some lookalike audience in the past. Let me just show you this one really quick. Yeah, I'm just going to edit. Okay, so on the left here, you see that the audience name is called lookalike NZ. NZ stands for New Zealand at 1% for a particular main list. All right and the size is 32,000. So this is called a lookalike. Now, if you don't understand the terminology just yet, that's okay. I don't expect you to catch everything in one go. And like I said many a times throughout this whole training, uh, practice makes perfect. So you know what? Let's go create a lookalike audience right now. By going to the top left, select lookalike audience, and we're gonna choose a source, all right? So what we do here is that there are many types of sources that we can go around here. We can go to other sources. And I'm going to type in the word subscribers FBX local. That was the one I had just created just now. Okay, so this will be the source. And location. Now you can name any country that you want. So for example, mine, I'm going to have it here in Malaysia because this is a local mailing list and I will find people similar to that. Although you can find people like that in other countries as well. But right now we're just going to put Malaysia. Uh, because for this particular list, I'm having only people within the country, all right? Next time, if you want to find similar people like that in other countries like the United States and all that, you can go ahead, but I recommend you just put one country over here and no more than that. So if I do this, for example, all right, uh, please don't do this, okay? Uh, this is not uh, the way you should do it. Just keep it to one country. And next one, you see there's this thing called audience size, all right? And if you don't understand what this means, well, if you check this out, that's like from zero to 10%. So what this does is that basically the lower the number, like 1%, it shows like the closest proximity match to your source. So this being the closest, this being the furthest, all right? But I recommend you just start off with 1% right now. Uh, very simple. Now let's check out the advanced options. Okay, maybe just create one type of audience, okay? That is all we need right now. I'll show you how, how to do it, okay? Select advanced option, we're gonna put zero to 1%. Okay, let's leave it alone and click create audience. Okay, so we have just created a lookalike audience based on 1% close match to this mailing list, all right? Again, like I said many a times, the bigger the list you have, the better it is, so it's more targeted, but it seems like I'm able to make do with just below 500 email addresses, uh, but the more you have, the better it is, okay? so. But don't just stop here though. It's better to just have a few more. Some people even do it up to 10%. That's okay. I'll show you how to do it again. So let's click on create audience, look like audience, and let's choose the source again. Practice makes perfect. Let's do it. Let's choose the same one again. Subscribers at FBX local. Location will be Malaysia. All right. Or your the respective country that you want to target. Let's choose advanced options. Number of audience will be one and it's going to be between 1% to 2%. So what this means now compared to the, the other uh, lookalike audience we have just created, we're going to look 
at this particular affinity where you're not looking at the two percent so we're just going to create audience and we're done here okay so we've got two percent going on all right so you know what let's just do one more uh for practice let's just do one more and let's be sure about it okay i'm going to repeat the process so I'm going to put number one audience here and let's put this to between two to three percent okay so let's just get going and there we go so we have a total of three different lookalike audience and with this you can actually run a, a different ad set to different um, groups of people here and this way you can find out which group might be more responsive to your ads or who's buying or who's opting into your list all right so the way you start running the ads is actually very very similar that that's how you do it okay so i'm not going to make keep this long that's how easy it is and just keep practicing you'll get better with it and you'll understand better as well